Hello guys, in this video we will see projection of lines when the line is inclined to both the planes. In my previous video, I discussed about this projection of lines for 5 different cases. Totally there are 6 different cases. The 6 cases are... So these are the 6 uh, different cases for projection, projecting a straight line. Okay, first two cases case 1 is line is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp and line perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp and line parallel to both vp and hp and line parallel to vp and inclined to any one of this this hp and line inclined to vp and parallel to hp okay those five cases uh, we, i have drawn this uh, i have drawn this projection of this lines in my previous video i will share the dis i will share the link for that video in the description box so in this video we will see how to draw the projection of a straight line when the line is inclined to both the planes. Okay. So we will take an example of this and we will see how to draw this projection when the line is inclined to both the planes in the software, in the AutoCAD software. Take the same question, a line 70 mm long as one end, 15 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. The line is inclined at 35 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Draw the projection of the line. Okay. Go to the software. First draw a reference line. So to get a straight line press F8. Draw a reference line. And name this reference line using the text command TXT text. Specify the start point. After specifying the start point, here you have to enter the height of the text, and then and the angle of rotation should be zero. Make ensure that every time when you using this text command, this angle of rotation should be zero. Type zero, enter. So this is my x. This is my y. Then above the reference line. So according to the first angle of projection, above the reference line. VP comes below the reference line HP comes. So after, after uh, marking VP and HP, now we will move on to the projecting this line, projecting the line when inclined to both the planes. Okay. So the question given is, first we will mark one point of this line. So line has two points. So one point of the position for one point of that line is given in the question that means was 1 n 15 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp this 15 mm above hp is our front view so the front view we have to mark it on vp okay so take a line start from this reference line move in the upper direction and draw a vertical line for 15 mm and type point put a point here and then second they are given 30 mm in front of vp this in front of vp is the top view so we have to draw it on the hp type 30 and put a point okay this is our point a so we will give name for this point i am using the text already available so just copy it and paste it and double click it to edit the letter so I'm taking this as A and this as A dash. Now, now next what they are given. The line is inclined at 35 degree to HP. So if it is inclined at 35 degree to HP, this 35 degree you can able to see when you see from the front. So when it is inclined to HP, you have to mark that angle on the VP. Okay. Take A as, start from A, click on point A, switch off the ortho mode. So here you will have two options, two tabs. One is to specify the length of the line and another tab is to specify the angle of the line. So here the angle which we want to specify is 35 degree and the length of the line is 70 mm. So first is specify 70, press tab, it will move to this angle tab, angle, 
it will move to this angle so here you specify the angle angle s of 35 mm okay specify 35 mm and press enter so now you will get a line for a length of 70 mm and an angle of inclination angle of 35 degree now put a point this point is point b similarly on the horizontal plane they are given 45 degree to vp this 45 degree is our top view okay this 45 degree you can able to see when you see from the top the top view you have to mark it on hp so start from here so again line of the length is sorry length of the line is same 70 mm the angle now 45 degree press tab and enter 45 and put a point okay. so now this is our point B so give the names for the points Now take a line and draw horizontal line from point A and point B. So for point B you have to draw the horizontal line on both sides. For a random length. Similarly from point A also you have to draw an horizontal line. And you have to give the name for all the lines. So this is line, this is locus of B. This is locus of A. Locus of A dash. locus of p dash so after giving the name next what you have to do take a line and draw one vertical line from point b start from point b and extend this vertical line till locus of a dash similarly start from b dash draw a vertical line in the upward direction till locus of a so after getting this line, again give name to this points. So this might be uh, A1. This is B1. Sorry, A dash one. You keep it as A dash. A1 dash. So next what you have to do, take a circle, take a circle, take A as, A as the center of the circle and then drag the circle up to A1. So now what you have to do, you have to trim the portions that, you have to trim the unwanted portions. You have to keep this arc, okay? So this arc intersects the locus of B at one point. Okay. So at that point, put a point using the point command, and this is going to be our B dash. Okay, sorry, keep it as B1. Take it as B1. Now what you have to do, take a line and join A, B1. Okay, this is the 
projected line at the front view. This A B1 is the projected line at the front view. Similarly, I have to find out this projected line on the top view. So again take a circle, take A dash as center, drag up to A1 dash and now trim the unwanted portions. The problem is I didn't extend this locus of B dash on the left side. So again take a line to extend this B dash like this now again using trim command trim the unwanted portions so now this this arc this line this rotated line is intersecting this locus of b dash at one point at this point put a point here and give a name b1 dash Next, take a line, click A1 and join B1 dash, A dash and B1 dash. This A1, this A dash, B1 dash is the projected line on the top view. So select this, both the lines, increase the thickness so that you can able to differentiate from the true length, uh, true length, uh, the line with the true length so you can able to differentiate the lines which one is the projected line and which one is the actual line that means line with true length this a b is the line with the true length whereas a b one is the projected length next after increasing the thickness change the color also now go to dimension take linear you have to give the dimensions so you have to locate this point A from the reference line and you also also find out the length of this projected line so okay since this length this line is uh, inclined you should not use linear option for giving the dimension you have to use aligned option click on the aligned option Select these two points and you have to drag outside and you have to click. Similarly, this AB is the true length of the line is 70 mm, but the projected length of the projected line is 49.5 mm. So, always the projected length when the line is inclined at inclined to any one of the plane at some degree, some angles always the projected length of the projected line will always be lesser than the true length of the line okay. similarly you have to give the dimension on the top view also so on the top view you can able to see the length of the line is 57.3 So this is the projection of lines when the line is inclined to both the planes. Okay. So you have to mention the angle also. So go here. There is a separate option for giving the angular dimensions. Click on this angular dimension. Select the two lines between which you want to give the angle. You have to specify. This is the 35 degree. This is the 45 degree. and you, you also have to find out the, the angle that the projection line is making with this locus A which is 54 this is 60 degree so this is the projection of straight line when the line is inclined to both the planes Thank you.